Mm-hmm. So what's currently on your needles right now? What are you knitting besides am, the ruffle scarf? I, uh, I'm knitting a, um, a cardigan. I think it's Cosmo Pluto's cardigan. Okay, it's a top great. down um, with my Cricut. And I actually have it right here. Yes, show us. Um, it's just a little bit. And I'm using scrap yarn. Oh, fine. So I've just, I've just barely started. Mm-hmm. Uh, here's the top. Mm-hmm. And I just have a ton of scraps of Cricut that I just tied ends together, threw a bunch of colorways together. Yeah. And I'm just, however long the strand is, is how long the colorway will be. Uh-huh. It's just going to be top down. Yeah, mm-hmm. I love it. Yeah. That's cool. That's a really good idea. I, I have so many scraps, you know. <laughs> so that's kind of a neat idea. If you have a favorite line or a favorite weight, you right. can just put all those together. Put them all together, yeah, exactly. Uh, the thing you want to think about when you do something like that is uh, the two or three colors that are one off from that colorway. You want to make sure they work together. Uh-huh. Uh, and then other than that, uh, in the broad you don't want to put pastels in with um, earth tones, mm-hmm. but otherwise they'll all work together. They'll all work together, yeah. yeah. Especially great. if you have more than like five colorways. Right, right. Cool. So um, what's been your, on a bad note, what's been your worst knitting disaster? <laughs> um, I, I'm not sure about that actually. I know my first hat was atrocious. Um, and my lovely brother-in-law actually wore it, Aww, but I, oh, I, it was crochet then, and um, I didn't know about how to decrease or how to increase, and um, that you could crochet two stitches together. Right. So, so I was crocheting, and would just kind of jump a few stitches, <laughs> and I was like, it needs to get smaller, I know it needs to have fewer stitches. Yeah. Um, and he wore it, he had dreads at the time. And um, he said he used it for camping, and he loved it. What a sweet brother-in-law. He's the best. He gets a gold star. <laughs> he's, and he, he always once knitted um, knit or crocheted uh, garments for Christmas or his birthday. So oh, I would, what a nice guy. So now he yeah. gets them. See, I think that was the trick. He knew that you were going to get better at it. And yeah. so if he you know, put in his time at the beginning, <laughs> he knew he'd reap the benefits later on. There was also a bag that, um, bags can be tricky if you don't have the increases and decreases um, to make them right. Yeah. Um, There was a bag that just got bigger and flopped. (laughs) (laughs) I think my first felting experiment was like that also. Yeah. Bag just never came together. (laughs) Are you a big felter? Do you felt a lot or? Not a whole lot, but it's fun to experiment. Yeah, it's fun to do every now and again. Very cool. Okay, so last but not least, if you were to be drinking a cocktail while reading my blog, what would it be? Um, my favorite cocktail is Stockholm Royale. Okay. And it's kind of a Fresno Tower District um, specialty okay. drink. Mm-hmm. So what's it have? What's it like? Um, the main alcohol, I don't know because <laughs> I'm not good at <laughs> cocktails, but I know it has Chambord in it. Ooh. It's so delicious. It's like a berry. Yeah, uh, so it's like berry flavored and sweet, yummy. Yeah, and I think it has a sugar rim, but I could be wrong. <laughs> That's okay. It can it can yeah. have a sugar rim. <laughs> any <laughs> any sweet drink can have a sugar rim. <laughs> All right, Sabrina, thank you so much for being here and being our sponsor this week. And yeah. Come back and visit us anytime. Excellent. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Yeah. It's recording. See the fish in the background?